Hey, it's Luke. I wasn't planning on doing a video tonight, but I was trying out the new version of Sigmund 2 from D16, and it just sounds so good. <laughs> I just wanted to do something quick about it and show you this uh, this plugin because, yeah, it just sounds good. I actually had the, the original one, Sigmund 1, I guess, and uh, I don't think I ever even installed it. I, I think I should have been looking at this a long time ago because uh, it sounds good. Even starting out, okay, this is just the, I, I just initialized the uh, the preset on, on Serum. It's just when you load it up, that's what you have. It's nothing. Even just with this, and this is just how Sigmund 2 loaded, I didn't change anything yet. And it just has such a nice sound. And originally when I was looking at this, I was like, I don't need another delay. I have so many plugins that I haven't even played around with. Uh, but the more I looked at this, the more I was like, yeah, I think I, I want to buy this. And uh, this isn't sponsored, anything like that. I bought it with my own money like a big boy. <laughs> All right. Um, it just sounds so good. So it technically is a delay, but it does a whole lot more than most of the the delay plugins are I've seen. Um, the this overdrive isn't usually in them. There's just and I haven't used this a lot yet, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that I still have to learn. But uh, just going through it to start is is just impressive. It's got four delay lines, so it's basically like having four delays in one in a way. And uh, let's just go through some of the the presets here. One thing I found that's really interesting is this, uh, where is it? I think it's this one here. We're taking that same sound that we just had, just a very, very basic sound that's not a whole lot of anything. And it's it's giving it that uh, 303 feel. And uh, we we'll, might try it out with a different sound. Let's just load uh, a preset in here, just... Uh, just gonna go anything at random. No, that's not a great one to, <laughs> to start out with. Let's just load a random preset in here and uh, see what we can do. If we take this out. Interesting for sound design, but not really what we're looking for. What we're going to do here is uh, I'm just going to go, I'll just choose something random here. Okay. And uh, let's just see what we can do with this. That's sort of nice. This is without it. And this is with Sigmund 2. If you uh, are listening on headphones, you'll notice it just brings out the bass. Just got a really nice bass sound. So if we remove it, this preset does have some bass in it, but this just seems to give it a little bit more of, like you can feel it. It's really nice. Okay, so Let's just uh, see what we can do. We'll remove this. So you've got the four lines here. This is the first one. You can do all of your adjustments in here. Uh, the second one, you know, do your different adjustments for each of them. Here again with the modulator, you can do a different one for each of these lines, basically tracks in there. And then here you can mix all of them. So if we just see the four, fourth one here isn't even really be, oh, it's muted. You can really feel that bass. I always like going back and forth to see what it's actually doing. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, is we're comparing the same thing. I'm just gonna record here. Because uh, if I'm doing it and going back and forth, sometimes our tendency is to hit it harder when the sound is lower. Um, so just so we're matching velocity, I'm just gonna take this track and do the exact same thing on both. So this is with it on. You can really tell how it brings out that bass. Let's try a couple other uh, presets on here. 
as soon as I switch to a different one, I feel like there's something missing because that base is uh, is gone. But I'm not even sure which one we had. Was it this one? I want to play around with it a little bit more too. So we can go mono. I'm assuming it's doing everything in mono, not just the delayed signal. It's not making a huge difference on this. Let's see. Uh, let's turn the overdrive on. Oh, that's interesting, actually, because the overdrive was off. And as soon as we move the preamp up, it turns it on automatically, which is sort of nice. I'm assuming this preamp is the input. So it's probably uh, sending a hotter signal into segment two, which will create some saturation. So I don't know. It just sounds better. I don't know if it's just because it's louder, but let's uh, take it off again. You can really notice the difference. That's what I was saying. It's not just a delay. Like a delay would not have these parts here. There's stuff we can do with the filter. There's stuff we can do with the modulator. I don't know. It, it just does a whole bunch of stuff. So many presets in here. There are hundreds. So speaker cones. So this will likely make it sound. Yeah, a little, a little smaller. Spilled juice. Oh. Yeah, I think we'd have to play around with this one and fix it a little bit, but it does bring out that bass. It's sort of nice. Okay, let's look at saturation master. So these are saturating the signal. It's a little too much, but that could be adjusted. And this one here is your dry wet. So you can tell it's a little bit stronger because we've got that original signal coming in a little bit louder, but it's still processing that signal and putting that over it. So if we go back to without it, and of course, this is a lot louder than the original signal. So we don't want to be thinking, oh, it's making all this change when it's the same sound is just louder, but But you can tell it does bring out that that low end. So there's the modulator stuff that you can do uh, for each of these lanes. And uh, there's so much you can do. I really have to sit down and play around with this. And I'll do a more in-depth video about this uh, as soon as I've had a chance to, to try it out. I just really wanted to have a quick look at it. This here is going to be the, the actual delay part. So if we play around with this and... Okay, so maybe I shouldn't be doing these videos <laughs> at 11.30 at night because uh, I've just been sitting here talking for I don't know how long. And uh, I was like, I can't hear any changes. I'm making changes on here. And I was doing everything I could to, to change the sound, adjusting everything and uh, trying to figure out why it wasn't working. And uh, I just noticed that uh, segment two was off. So <laughs> I was bypassed. I was doing all that for nothing. Anyways, it would have sounded good if uh, the changes I made were were working. But OK, so I'm going to go back to because right now it's probably sounding really weird. Yeah, so let's just I'm just going to go back to that same preset. Start over again. OK, now it's on and we can make adjustments. So let's just look at the first line here and we'll solo it. So the feedback here, if you've never worked with delay before, feedback will make it repeat more often before it sort of drifts away. And one thing I noticed when I was working on that part where nothing was changing is if we look here at the sync, this will just match it to the BPM in your DAW. And a lot of the time, your settings will be an eighth note, a sixteenth note, a quarter note, whatever. But in this one, you can actually change change it to anything. 
So instead of having an eighth note here and automatically going to the next one, and this is 16th note, you can do like an 11th. Like, so it lets you sync it, but have it just a little bit off and have some interesting sounds out of it. So uh, that's an interesting thing that I've never noticed on any of the plugins I've been using. It might be on a few of them and uh, I just never had to, to go in and, and change that, but uh, I found that, that interesting. So uh, yeah, so basically if we solo the second one, oh, that's where our bass is coming from. You can really tell here. And what's on this third one? This is where most of our sound is. The louder part of the sound. And on this fourth one, I don't hear anything. It almost seems like it's like filtering out most and just getting a little tiny part of the sound. So then when we go back to it all together, it's just really nice to have these adjustments. So even if we want even more of the bass, we can bring this up and the other one's down. You can really feel that, that rumbling. You can really get a whole bunch of different sounds out of it. And the vocalize. Oh, this one sounds nice. And again, this is all with the same preset, the same settings. We can adjust the actual sound here and get a whole bunch of stuff out of it. Even this, this sounds really good. In the background for a track, this is an interesting plugin. I'm definitely gonna be looking at this again. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.